Welcome back, Warriors. I'm Jake. And I'm Jaden. Today is Friday, October 18th, 2024. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by your moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And one word, how would you describe the new gym uniforms? Millions. Millions. How would you describe the new gym uniforms? I got the I'm tired. I'm tired. I hate that. And one word, how would you describe the new gym uniforms? I think that the gym uniform is very beautiful. And one word, how would you describe the new gym uniforms? Identifiable. And one word, how would you describe the gym uniforms? In one word, how would you describe the new gym uniform? Also great. In one word, how would you describe the new gym uniform? Very well. In one word, how would you describe the new uniform? Um, highlighter. In one word, how would you describe the new gym uniform? Right. How would you describe the school uniform? One, go. In one word, describe the new gym uniform. Highlighter. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get to the news. Congratulations to our cross country seniors. They were honored on our last home meet at Dyer Park. Our senior girls are Jackie Biondo, Jaden Burke, Kylie Buegos, Jamie Dozer, Shreya Mayotra, and Lexi Winquist. Our senior boys are James Beagley, Chris Dorado, Angel McGovern, Connor Opton, Mantis Persuada, and Jordan Seymour. Thank you for being such great teammates and role models. The Jupiter girls team finished first at the meet. Kate Hannison, Delaney Ulmer were their top finishers for the girls, placing second and third overall. The Jupiter boys placed second overall with Matthew Ward third. The team will compete next Wednesday, October 23rd at the PBC Championships. Jupiter JROTC will be hosting the 2024 JROTC Raider competition tomorrow, October 19th. The competition will begin with a three mile run, followed by four other events, including building a rope bridge and one mile litter carry, fitness test as well, and kettlebell carry, this year, there will be an additional event for anyone feeling froggy, enough to challenge themselves in a three-mile race. The fastest runner will receive a $100 gift card. The run will start with the male teams followed by the mixed teams, and then the female teams. Anyone in challenge will start after the females. Come on out and see this grueling competition. Homecoming is right around the corner with homecoming pep rally wristband distribution ending today, October 18th in the SGA courtyard during both lunches. You will need your ID in order to get a wristband. You will be unable to get a wristband if you are on the obligations list, so make sure you pay any withstanding obligations. You can check if you are on the obligation list in the Media Center. The Computer Science Honor Society is holding a meeting today, October 18th at 2.45 p.m. in room 4214. New members need to pay their $40 membership fee online or drop off cash or a check made out to JHS to Ms. Garcia in room 4214. Ask for Cyber Patriot has a mandatory practice competition today, October 18th in room 4214 during periods 5, 6, and 7. You will need a signed TLE in order to attend. Attention all women and STEM members. There will be a meeting today, October 18th during lunch B in room 5213. Please bring your parent consent form if you have not already turned it in. Calling all artists. There are only three days left to submit your work to the Colorful Future Art Fair. This is your chance to make money and publicize your hard work and talent with all forms of art welcome. Submissions end this Sunday, October 20th. Hey Warriors, join Students Speak Up for Kids at their next meeting today, October 18th at their school in room 5215, where they'll be making Halloween themed bracelets and assembling goodie bags. Attention class of 2025 Rho Kappa members. The induction ceremony has rescheduled for Monday, October 28th at 6 p.m. Please make sure you have paid your dues by this Tuesday, October 22nd, on School Cash Online. After October 22nd, you will need to bring your receipt to Ms. Hansen in room 6208. 
prior to the ceremony. If you have any questions or concerns, please see Ms. Hansen in room 6208. Thank you. Attend the Army of Angels' first general meeting next Wednesday, October 23rd, right after school in Portable 2, Miss Newis's room. The club aims to spread cancer awareness and holds fun events throughout the year. Snacks will be provided, and so you do not want to miss out. To learn more, join the Google Classroom with code SDUFKOO. Join Letters for Rose in their next general meeting on Thursday, October 24th, after school in Miss Ganano's room 4118. They will host a Halloween-themed letter workshop and members will receive service hours for attending and making letters. All service sheets for letters turned in from this month's round will be available for pickup as well. For more information, join the LFR Google Classroom with the code P6IC760 and text JHS LFR to 81010. With homecoming next Saturday, October 26th, if you haven't gotten a dress yet and find most of them way too expensive, then the JHS Dress Boutique may have just the perfect dress for you. They have over 40 new and gently used beautiful dresses in all sizes, and one would love for you to have one. If you're still interested or in need of a dress, email your school counselor and let them know. Your perfect dress may be there, you just need to find it. Come enjoy club run games and food trucks before the homecoming football game by attending the homecoming carnival next Friday, October 25th from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. on the JHS practice field. Homecoming Spirit Week begins this Monday, October 21st and runs all week through Friday, October 25th. This year's daily themes start with Class Color Day on Monday, Tuesday is Tacky Taurus Day, Wednesday is Soccer Mom vs. Barbecue Dad Day, Thursday is Anything But a Backpack Day, and Friday is Generation Day. Let's have a look at what anything but a backpack day means. Hi, Warriors! Thursday, October 24th is anything but a backpack day. Here are some rules to follow. You can't bring anything alive. That means no siblings or friends. This includes no pets. Make sure your item is below your waist. It has to be able to sit between desks in class and comfortably be brought through hallways, doors, and staircases. You can't bring anything dangerous. This includes skateboards and scooters. These are some good ideas of what to bring. Any rolling crate that can be brought up the stairs, mini trash cans, bags, baskets, and buckets. Be creative and have fun. Warriors, get ready to dive into the world of technology at TechFest, an exciting event on Thursday, October 31st in the JHS Gymnasium. The showcase will feature innovative projects, exciting demonstrations led by students, faculty, and local tech professionals, and an esports tournament. During each class period, eight pre-selected students are invited to compete in a one-on-one -on -one Super Smash Bros. tournament, which is single elimination. Here are some details. Nintendo Switch consoles and Pro Controllers will be provided in the tournament. No outside equipment is permitted. Players must check in immediately at the TechFest event eSports station during the class period in which they are competing. First, second, and third place winners during each class period will receive a special invitation to compete on Full Sail University's campus for the final high school tournament taking place Saturday, November 16, 2024. Players invited to this final tournament will be from high schools throughout Florida, approximately 150 to 250 competitors. They will compete to win a Full Sail University scholarship and a trophy for their high school. If you think you're a Super Smash Bros. champion, Visit the Media Center for more information. Spots are limited, so first come, first serve. Reminder, Latinos in Action is selling ice cream every day after school. What types of ice cream and flavors does LIA have available? You'll have to stop by Portable 24, Ms. Cauldron's class, to find out. Please note it's cash only. FFVA has rescheduled their next meeting to Monday, October 21st, after school in Portable 30. This is a mandatory meeting for all members as they will be rehearsing the upcoming induction ceremony. All current members should check Google Classroom, code SYC2SFJ, for important information about the induction ceremony. Meet Bradley's dog, Booker, for our pet of the week. Booker is a 13-year-old mountain cur pit mix. What makes him so special is that he acts as if he has the personality of a person and despite being 13, loves to play. That's all for the news. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day, Warriors.